G'day, I'm Peter Fritz and welcome to another three minute video where I try my darndest to help you with one of the things that I've learned over 40 years as a photographer, hopefully something that'll help you with your photography. Today, I wanna to talk about why it's not about the photos. Now, it's easy to think when you get into landscape photography that everything that you need to learn is around perfecting your craft, understanding aperture, shutter speed, well, the exposure triangle, aperture, shutter speed, and ISO, lens choice, composition, lighting, all this sort of stuff. But one thing that I've learned, especially after returning to photography, particularly landscape photography in recent times, is that it's not really about the photos. In fact, like a lot of things in life, when you force a result, it almost inevitably eludes you. I remember years ago, one guy saying to me that uh, three of the hardest things to do are to climb a fence that's leaning towards you, kiss a girl that's leaning away from you, and get someone to do something that they don't wanna do. And it's a bit like that with landscape photography. Because we're at the mercy of the elements and the environment and the weather and all that sort of stuff, it can sometimes seem like we're trying to force a result. And yet, paradoxically, when we are just enjoying being outside, when we're enjoying the environment and slowing down enough to actually appreciate the fact that we're outside amongst nature with a camera in hand, with the potential to take a photo, until we reach that point where we approach it that way, a lot of our photos will look forced, will be trying to emulate photos that we've seen in the past. And that's always a challenge because it's a bit like trying to copy somebody, say even on YouTube, for example, trying to be somebody else or trying to emulate somebody else's success, whether it's in photography or anything else. The conditions, their upbringing, their background, their character, their personality, their the way they perceive things is all different. There are so many variables that trying to force an outcome that emulates somebody else's is fraught with risk and disappointment. So if anything, the one thing that I wanna get across to you today is that if you approach photography, particularly outdoor photography of any kind, with the view that the photos don't really matter, they're not your primary focus, they're not your key objective, rather just getting outside, enjoying the outdoors, feeling the sun on the back of your neck, the fresh air in your lungs, the muscles in your legs moving as you walk through the bush, as you walk along a beach, up in the mountains, through the desert, wherever it is that you're going, just appreciating the simple act of being outside in the environment and immersing yourself in it almost inevitably produces better results. You're less stressed, you are more present, you see things more, you see more things. And as a result of that, you take better photos. Now, of course, there is a lot to be said for understanding the basics of photography. Um, that's a given. Uh, understanding things like the exposure triangle and how to compose an image in a pleasing way, how to develop balance in your images, how to deal with whatever the prevailing light conditions are, being prepared to revisit the location when the conditions aren't ideal, adapting to what you have in front of you at the time. All these things, of course, are very important. But I think uh, an overarching principle of all of this is that if you approach this with the view of just simply enjoying the process, then inevitably your photos will improve. Anyway, I think I've already gone over the clock, so uh, hopefully this one little tip will be at least partially useful to you. I know it's made a huge difference in my photography, especially of late. A lot of us are very stressed with our work, we're stressed with the current situation with COVID, and just getting outside, even if it's close to home, and just enjoying the outdoors, can do wonders for your physical health, your mental health, and of course, your photography. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me again. I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.